Hey creatives, in today's tutorial we'll go over the design process of a flat illustration avatar using Illustrator. Let's start with the face, which is an oval shape made with the curvature tool. This avatar is inspired by me, if you couldn't tell. I was playing around with Illustrator and thought I'd make a video out of it. Keep in mind that it helps to have some kind of a photo reference next to the canvas so you can see what are the basic shapes that can be translated to an illustration. I have a pretty basic haircut, so the hair is straightforward, made out of these three shapes. Don't be afraid to use the direct selection tool to move things around if you feel like there's any visual tension. And using the same tool I'll make a couple of adjustments to the face as well because I don't think it's that long so we'll need to make it shorter. Take the pen tool again and I'll create a beard. The beautiful thing about this kind of avatars is that they only need uh, to have a couple of features to start making sense. So don't try to go in detail and get every single proportion spot on. After making a copy of the face, use the Shape Builder tool to remove any access and you should be left with only the beard. Now I forgot to mention, but if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial or just check out the layer vector files, you can download them for free, the link is in the description of this video below. At this point I'm still trying to define the main shapes of the body and we'll move to create the eyes and the small details in a bit, but for right now let's connect the head here with the neck. Move it back by using the command left bracket shortcut and merge these two shapes using the shape builder tool. Take the direct selection tool and create an easier transition between them and now I'm ready to create a shape that's meant to be the color of a v-neck t-shirt. With both shapes selected open up the pathfinder window and hit the divide option. That will leave you with some shapes that aren't going to be used so let's ungroup these things and hit backspace to remove them. Using the swatches panel, I'll apply some different shades of grey to see how they look once there's some contrast between the elements. We'll be moving to adding the elements that make up the face now. Let's start from the top and the first ones are the eyebrows. Start with the pen tool to create a couple of rounded shapes. I was thinking about trying to get the exact shape down of an eyebrow but in the end I will keep it super simple and only have an oval shape under a light angle. Try to imagine the expression you'd like for the character to have before doing any of these. Now I'm trying to have these eyebrows raised while the eyes are looking on the side to show a feeling of curiosity. The mouth will come later to complete the look, but for now it's time to add the colors of the illustration. I usually try to go for a minimal color palette, only using white, black and two accent colors. In this case the accent colors will be an electric blue and a very bright yellow, as these two are complementary colors. Notice that the angle of the character is too steep, so using the shear tool will adjust. Need to also create a new ear that stands out more and start rounding up some of the sharp corners in this flat illustration. Now it's time to add a couple of outlined pads that should either be used as details or to differentiate some different shapes overlapping. I'll start with the ear, create a yellow stroke pad which will need to be increased in size and from the stroke panel I'll select a rounded corner and a cap. Add one on the head as well and always try to find a spot where two shapes meet and use a different color to create the outline. That will make the details stand out and create a nice transition in between the other shapes. Same thing on the neck here, add a yellow stroke. Then you can create a couple of black and blue lines to define the arms and the volume of the body. Since this avatar is supposed to be me, then I have to include some kind of element in this flat illustration uh, that represents me. In this case I'll use a YouTube logo as a reference and define it through very simple shapes. You rotate this square and using the pen tool remove one of the anchors to create the play symbol. Reset the bounding box to be able to make the height smaller and after a couple of small adjustments place it somewhere in the middle. I want to add a bit of dimension to this flat illustration, so with the shape selected and the direct mode activated, I'll create an outline path that has the same color applied to it as the shape I'm placing it on, add a noise brush on it and from the transparency tab select the multiply blending mode. That will give it a subtle effect and just add a touch of uniqueness to this illustration. I'm going to do the same thing for the other shapes as well and then move to creating a background. Using the curvature tool, I'll try to create three organic shapes that will be placed behind my character. The bottom one will be black and I'll try for it not to overlap with other black parts. Then have a blue one up top which will only intersect with the hair and a yellow one in the middle to tie it all together. This is the final look of the illustration, thank you so much for making it to the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video so more people could see it and of course subscribe for more. 
I'd love to hear back from you, so don't hesitate to let me know what you thought about this tutorial or ask me any questions in the comment section below. See you next week with another video. Take care. Bye.